Export Import Practical. Learn from Real Entrepreneurs. Topic 21 Import Export Business Ideas. It is interesting to point out that most of the exports and imports are being made by small and middle sized companies, not only by big corporations. This means you don't have to be a huge multinational company if you want to get started. You can run your export business or import business even from home. You can plan, do the market research, decide your products, fulfill the orders, collect payments all from home. You can start as a side project, meantime keeping your daily job. Now let's dive in best import export business ideas. 1. Export Import Sourcing Agent This business idea is one of the easiest and affordable ones for getting started in the export import business. This form has grown out from the export import agent and it is a more simple form. Here agent is sourcing a product, supplier or buyer for the client and usually gets a one-time fee for this. Your lesson is to find an overseas company who is looking at the sourcing service. Make sure what are their exact requirements and demands. After all is clear, you need to sign a sourcing agreement with your client where your fee is set. Then you need to start sourcing based on the requirements. You need to contact the original supplier and producers in your country. You also need to visit the suppliers and check their products to make sure it meets your customer demands. After you have found the supplier, buyer or product what your customer is looking for, it is your time to present the details and you will get paid. There are many places online where sourcing agents can list themselves to get regular clients. We have premium online course, Zero to First Deal, which will show you, step by step, how to find clients and get started. 2. Export Import Agent this business idea is also called as an export-import broker. The agent is making a commission fee from the exported products. The commission fee is percent of the total value of the transaction executed. You as an export-import agent, need to find a low-cost supplier from another country. If your client or buyer, are ready to buy from the supplier you had found, then the buyer should also pay the commission fee to you. For an export-import agent, two things are crucially important to protect your commission fee. 1. Commission agreement must be solid and well proved. 2. You need to keep good relations with your clients and always offer them value. 3. Direct exporting Direct exporting is the traditional way to start an export-import business. You need to directly buy or produce and export the products. It is important to select the right products for your exporting business. You need to select the products which are suitable for you and with sufficient profit potential. It is very wise to analyze the export-import data and make sure what countries are the biggest importers of the products that you are looking to export. You need to find the right target countries for your products. Then, you need to know how to reach to the genuine international buyers. This is the hardest part, you should not buy the list of buyers online. To really succeed, marketing plays a very important role. Make sure, who are your customers, what and why they want from you, will give you a foundation block for your export-import business. 4. Direct Importing If you are from a developing country, you can look to import Western brands, food, beverages, and high-tech from European Union countries. You should have the selling network or reseller already waiting before you invest in the products. Like with direct exporting, you need enough money to buy or produce a product and also for selling the network. Make sure you select a product properly. 5. Online Exporting Selling online is great for small and light items that you can deliver by air. Fashion products, clothes, handbags. Toys all those are great examples of what all can be sold online. Selling online needs specific skills and knowledge like online marketing, SEO, content creation for your online store, integrating the technology like online payments, CRM, tracking system. This is a rising trend nowadays. 6. Selling craft online. 
This import export business idea is not for mass production. Are you producing amazing and beautiful handmade products? If so, this is your chance to start selling those to the whole world through an online store. For craft selling, we suggest places like Etsy.com. You can open an online store for your amazing handwork there and sell those as totally unique products. Handicraft is always unique and extraordinary. People deserve premium prices for a product. 7. Dropshipping, Innovative Export-Import Business Idea Dropshipper is basically only doing marketing and branding through his own online store, but he never has a stock. After payment comes through, the seller forwards part of it, together with customer address and order details to the original suppliers. Dropshipper keeps the profit margins, only deals with online marketing, selling and never touches the product himself. If you want to start a dropshipping business, we suggest Shopify. This is a common platform, which gives you all the tools you need for the dropshipping business from one place. 8. Warehouse Renting for Importers and Exporters If you have money or property near to the seaports, railway stations or airports, then there exists a business opportunity for you. Companies that are importing or exporting products are in need of warehouses. They need a place where to keep their products, so it is convenient and fast to send products to the port or airport or to the railway. 9. Freight Forwarding for Exporters and Importers If you know a lot about shipping, logistics, and transports and have connections, it is possible to start providing freight forwarding services to exporters and importers. You as a freight forwarder have direct contracts with direct shipping lines and you will get the best prices from them. You will help importers and exporters organize the freights from point A to point B and you will get your fee for these services. This business requires only organizing and communications. You don't need much money to start this business. But you need to know about international transport, logistics, and have great connections, so you are able to provide the best offers to clients. 10. Custom Agent You don't need much money for this, but you need to know enough about this field, and sometimes, you need to be certified before you can offer this kind of service. If you know about import and export customs, taxation, and regulations, and customs procedures, then you can sell your customs agent or broker services. 11. Custom Warehousing If importers have loads of containers arriving at the border, then that products need to be transported to special custom warehouses. Customer warehouses are the special warehouses where an importer can keep their products. Customs warehouses are places that are strictly controlled and inspected by country authorities and custom warehouse keepers are listed in the country custom bureau. You need a special license to keep the warehouses and offer your services. 12. Export-Import Consultant If you have done the export-import business by yourself and have gained practical experience in this field, you can sell your knowledge and expertise. You can advise newbies who are starting out, help them solve the issues or problems they face. Practical experiences and insider know-how are far more important to succeed as a consultant in the import-export business. 13. Investing in Export-Import Ventures If you have free cash available, you can offer investment services for new or existing export-import ventures. New companies need investment to buy the products and get started. To invest, you need to be able to analyze the venture, its profit and ROI potential. You should be familiar with the market and export-import businesses. 14. Export-Import Insurance Broker Most often, you can be an agent and sell other insurance companies' services to make a profit from this. You need to establish relations with insurance providers and negotiate good terms for yourself. You should have many potential partners. Your lesson is to find exporters, importers, and get the best insurance solutions for them. 15. Export-Import Inspection Many overseas companies need local company or person 
to do the inspection of the supplier, PR factory. They need that before they make payments. You can offer inspection services and get a good fee for this. You can visit your country suppliers, check their background and production, then analyze and give feedback to the foreign buyer. There are places online where you can list yourself as an inspection provider. 16. Export Import Directory You can build an online or offline database about companies which are exporting or importing. One time or membership fee for being listed in your directory can be charged. You need to promote your directory to bring more visitors and interested companies to your site. The more popular your directory is, the more value it provides and the more other companies want to be listed. 17. Export Import Marketer Your lesson is to make sure how to reach your customer clients, how to present products, create and execute marketing campaigns. Finally, make prospects want to buy products from your customers. If you can increase your customers' sales remarkably, then you can ask premium fees. Knowledge about SEO, social media, content marketing, and paid ads are crucial to help your clients sell more. 18. Logistics Expert You can help local exporters and importers with organizing their inland logistics and transport operations in an optimized way. Small exporters and importers don't have time and sometimes either knowledge how to optimize their logistics. You can save money for them from transport and warehouse costs, also make their business run more smoothly. 19. Export-Import Market Researcher Analyzing the local market for making sure what could be imported and analyzing some foreign export markets to make sure what can be exported to there is detailed work. If you are good at researching markets, collection, analyzing the data, then you can provide market research services to the local companies and foreign companies. This is a very good import-export business idea. 20. Road Transport Provider for Export-Import Companies If you have truck, vans and lorries, then you can start providing road transport services. Usually, the companies don't have their own trucks and vehicles to arrange the transport. You can start contacting the direct exporters or importers to be their regular service provider. Also, you can contact with freight forwarders who are directly working with the exporters, importers. 21. Exporting Software Products to Foreign Countries There are a lot of qualified software engineers. You can build a small team of IT engineers and start producing software products to foreign companies and export software products to foreign country companies. A lot of European companies need apps, websites and other software products and they agree to outsource it from foreign countries. There were some of the most profitable business ideas in the export-import industry nowadays. Previously described business ideas are also the most stable ones. Visit website for more lessons, exportimportpractical.com.